It's been a while. And I guess I owe some of you an explanation about what I've been doing these last couple years. Because any, if anyone's been following what Jason Roberts has been up to, which I don't expect anyone to be following anything I'm doing anymore, you'll know that I've had a couple pretty good matches and I was able to go to California and I was able to train at the New Japan Dojo under Shibata-san, which wasn't just a professional goal, but a personal transformation. Because that's when I finally started to understand what the art form of professional wrestling is really all about and what it's not. And I was able to finally start to see what pro wrestlers are and what they're not. And after that camp, I had to look at myself in the mirror and I had to ask myself a couple questions. And those questions were, am I as good at wrestling as I think I am? And do I love this sport as much as I think I do? And those were the same questions that at the beginning of 2017, I asked myself and the answers were no. And because of that, I decided to walk away from the sport that I've loved since I was a kid. And that was the hardest decision I've ever had to make, but there were a lot of factors that played into that. I'm not from a big city. That independent wrestling is abundant. I can't drive 10 minutes down the road to train. Even to this day, I have to drive five hours for good training. And that's fine, and I love that because it makes me work so much harder just to be at the base level. It makes me question my passion. It puts a chip on my shoulder. It makes me choose to love this day in and day out. And, you know, because of that, I thought that taking out a credit card and just living off of credit for six months was a good idea while I was in training because when you're in wrestling training, of course I'm not gonna work because when you're training, you're eat, sleep, and breathing pro wrestling. And in a lot of ways, that's the height of your obsession is right before your first match. And that debt caught up with me and I was months behind on rent. I was starving and I don't mean oh, I wasn't getting my macros or I wasn't getting my calorie in. No, I was literally starving. I was working at a St. Louis bread company and I was only eating the food that I was able to get there. And because of their generosity, I was able to not die. And there was a girl back home that I was deeply in love with. And I ultimately made the choice that my personal life was more important than my professional life and for anyone that already knows this story and knows me and I'm sure you've formed your own opinions about it and you probably think this is all talk and I don't <laughs> I don't love pro wrestling as much as I say I do because that's the farthest from the truth because the truth the truth of life is that true love sometimes means letting something go because I've never stopped loving this. I've never stopped training. I've never stopped working on my promo skills. I've never stopped working on my technical wrestling ability. I've never just stopped fantasizing over this sport. And when I'm not doing this, I'm a shell of a person. And I just, I missed it. I missed it. And I guess the question is, what's the point in all this? What's the point of cutting this five minute promo? And the point is, I'm telling everyone that I'm back. And I don't know for how long, and I don't know in what capacity, and I don't know the next time I'll be hurt or I'll lose my passion, but until that day comes where I have to put up my wrestling shoes and really truly walk away from this, I'm gonna fight. And I'm gonna fight with every ounce of my soul, in my being, in my heart, the way that professional wrestling is intended to be. So I, so, I'm here to prove one thing and that is 
to prove to everyone, including myself, that Jason Roberts can go hold for hold with anyone in this entire sport. It's time to get to work.